Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to lead you through a 30 minute abs and booty focused workout. Today we are gonna use a set of dumbbells. Today I'm keeping it simple and just using a set of 10 pound dumbbells, but please use whatever you have access to at home and whatever suits your strength levels. Make sure you have something soft beneath you and make sure you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, Let's get to it. All right, today we are working in supersets, meaning two exercises at a time. We're first gonna start off holding our dumbbells in front of us and doing some sumo squats. So feet a little bit wider than normal squat stance and toes pointed out diagonally. You're gonna lean slightly forward in this squat so that you're putting the pressure on those glutes. And when you come up, make sure we're not hinging our hips all the way forward. You're still gonna squeeze those glutes at the top, but with keeping your body angled slightly forward. Good, your second exercise is going to be a deadlift. So nice and simple, feet about shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward. Your palms are gonna face towards you and they're gonna slide down the fronts of your legs, hinging at the hips and keeping your back nice and straight. Chin is tucked, using those glutes to stand up. So send those hips back. Make sure we're not dropping the dumbbells all the way down here. We wanna just have a nice flat back. Full extension in those hamstrings. taking a 15 second rest. We're gonna repeat those two and then we'll move on to our second superset. So starting off with our sumo squats. Really press through those heels. Think about pressing the floor away from you as you stand up. Good, moving on to deadlifts for round two. Really send those hips back, sit into those heels. Nice job. Moving on to our second superset, we're going to do some curtsy lunges with a knee drive. So we'll do one round on the right, the left, and then go back to the right. So you're gonna do a curtsy lunge, so your leg is coming diagonally behind you. Coming down, dumbbells on either side of the leg, press through that supporting leg, and you're gonna bring the knee up using that core.
So stay nice and grounded in that supporting leg. Really press through that heel. Nice job. 15 second rest, we're gonna do the left side. Nice job taking a quick rest. We're gonna do the right side and the left side again. When you're coming down into your lunge, your body should be angled slightly forward so that the hinge point is this glute. Then you're pressing through this supporting leg using that glute, using that core to stand up. Job, give that like a shake. Left side. Nice work. All right, next super set, we're gonna head to the ground. Dumbbells are gonna be on your lap and we're gonna come into a glute bridge position. You can do this with one, two, or no dumbbells. So on your back, feet are planted flat into the floor. And then you're gonna send those hips up all the way to the sky, squeeze those glutes, try and hold that squeeze as long as possible, tap the booty down, and then send it right back up. Try not to arch the back as you send the hips up. Think about doing the opposite, tucking the bum under, tilting the pelvis towards yourself. Nice job. We're gonna stay down here on the ground. You're gonna hold both dumbbells out directly from your shoulders. Legs are gonna come up. Lower backs pressed to the floor and you're gonna drop one leg at a time doing some scissor kicks. You can also modify this by bending the knees slightly and you can tap one heel down 
to the floor. You could also hold one dumbbell with both hands if that's a little bit easier for you as well. Nice job taking a rest down here, getting ready for glute bridges again. Sink your weight into your heels. Squeeze those glutes as hard as you can at the top. Nice job, taking a quick rest, getting ready for our weighted scissor kicks. So your lower back should not leave the floor at all during this exercise. So the lower abs should be engaged the whole time. Nice job. We're gonna flip it over into a low plank. So we're gonna be on our forearms. And from here, you're going to lift one leg at a time, squeezing your booty nice and tight, but make sure that we're not in this piked position. You wanna make sure that that bum is flat. And then as you kick the leg up, Try not to arch the back here. Keep that core nice and tight. Job. We're gonna sit back down on our bums. Gonna use one dumbbell. We're gonna do some weighted twists. So lift your bum up, tuck it under, pelvis towards you. Sit back, abs are tight. Holding the weight here, you're gonna drop it down to your hip. Come back to center, other side. Again, so getting ready to come into our low plank. If kicking the legs is too much, 
You can also just hold a low plank. And if holding the low plank is too much, you can just hold a modified plank, meaning a plank down here on your knees. Just make sure your back is nice and flat. Job, grabbing a dumbbell, coming on our bums. Make sure you're twisting all the way, dropping that dumbbell down beside your hip. Nice job, you can set that dumbbell aside. We're gonna come into a tabletop position. So hips stacked over knees, shoulders stacked over wrists. You're gonna extend your right leg to the back and we're gonna draw a nice big half circle. So lift it up nice and high. You're gonna drop it down to the side and then back to the side and back. And as you're doing this, you're gonna try not to compensate with the upper body, you're gonna use that core and squeeze that glute. Take these nice and slow if you have to. job, taking a quick rest, we're gonna do the left side. Taking a quick rest, we're gonna do that again, right and left side. It doesn't look like much, but it's a killer. Let me tell ya. Here we go, right side, core is nice and tight. Make sure when your leg is back here that we're not opening the hip. You wanna keep that hip facing the floor. Keep everything parallel, shoulders and hips. The only thing that should be moving is your leg.
Here we go, left side. Nice and strong with your upper body. Whew. Nice job. We're gonna come on our back. We're gonna do a superset of just abs. You don't need any dumbbells. We are gonna get these dumbbells out of the way. In a star position, you're gonna sit up, reach for the toe, back down. If reaching for the toe is too much, you're gonna bend the knee, reach for the knee. Control, lower down, use those abs. Use that core. Good, staying down here on your back. We're gonna do nice and simple feet in a tabletop position. We're gonna do some sit-ups reaching from side to side. So arm comes on the other side of each leg. You're trying to get those shoulder blades up off the floor while keeping the low back pressed to the floor. Good, take a quick little breather down here. We're gonna repeat those two. Take a quick breather. Getting ready for our cross sit-ups. Make sure you're not pulling on your neck. Keep your neck nice and long. Your fingertips are just there to give your head support. Get those shoulder blades up. Nice job. 
That was a good little burnout for the abs. We are now going to burn out the booty. So grab your weights. First exercise is a narrow squat. So feet about shoulder width apart, toes are pointed forward, hands by your sides. You're gonna sit down in your chair and stand back up, or almost like you're picking up two suitcases off the floor. So sit back into those heels, keep your back nice and straight, and use those glutes. You may also feel this in your quads as well, and that's totally normal. Good work. Next up, you're gonna choose a side and we're gonna do some reverse lunges. So same thing, weights in either hand on either side. You're gonna step back into your lunge. Make sure the body is angled slightly forward and we're not stepping way out here. You wanna keep this a tighter lunge. Press through that heel and stand up. shake one more time and then we'll do our reverse lunges on the left side here we go nice and low seconds. You can do it a few more. Nice job. One more round. Lunges on the left leg and then we're done. Here we go. Mind to muscle. Really focus on that form. few more. Woo. That is it guys. Great job. I hope you enjoyed this core, abs, booty, legs focus workout. If you did, give this video a thumbs up for me. Let me know in the comments. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me and I will see you guys next time. Bye. If you enjoy my workout videos, then make sure to join me in the MadFit app. You'll get access to structured programs, challenges, exclusive workouts, recipes, and many more amazing features that will help you on your health and fitness journey. If you haven't already downloaded MadFit, make sure to click the link in the description and I will see you guys inside the app.